On Saturday, the Election Commission of India announced dates for polls in five states. But in this episode of Politically Correct, I am talking about only Uttar Pradesh, where a seven-phase polls uh, have been announced. Now, what I am going to talk about is how the polling wheel will be uh, moving from the west to the eastern part of the state. So, uh, you have about uh, 136 assembly seats uh, in western UP when you are talking about this uh, Blas region and Rohil Khand. So, in the first three phases, that is, uh, you know, the first phase starts on the 10th and then it goes on. From 10th of February till uh, 7th of March, you have all these seven phases uh, uh, coming. So, in the first phase, now you, f you have this map on your screen, color coded map. So, you look at the yellow part. So, you see from if you uh, look at Agra, so Agra, uh, then you go upwards, you know, Agra, Mathura, then you have uh, Alega, then you go up, you have Noida, then Ghaziabad, then Samli, Muzaffar Nagar. These uh, districts are going in for polls in the first phase. On the uh, 10th, 10th of February, there are 58 assembly constituencies which will go to polls in the first phase. Then in the second phase, you have this Rohal, Rohal Khand area. You know, you have, so you have Amroha, Bareli, uh, you say Bijnor, Rampur, I mean all these areas in Rohil Khand region, they will go to polls in the second phase. In the third phase, then again, third phase you have the Bundel Khand area and then some parts of western Uttar Pradesh. Say for instance, Faizabad, uh, Manpuri, Eta, I mean all these districts. So, what I am trying to analyze, why the election commission has gone for this west to east uh, polling wheel, you know, mainly the BJP and political experts thought that the ruling party, even after the repeal of the contentious farm laws, would bide more time for the Jat farmers' anger to subside. Even today, BJP leaders aren't really welcomed with sugarcane juice in UP Jatland, I would say. So, why start elections from a region where the BJP may not get the kind of tailwind that it, that, uh, it would expect? Why not start from the eastern part, get the momentum? to overcome headwinds in the west if at all um, towards the end you may say these questions are irrelevant after all the election commission decides the date and why should it bother about uh, what suits the bjp and wh what doesn't the commission is an independent body isn't it so if you also think it's an independent body i won't contest by the way chief election commissioner today is social chandra who is the chairman of the central board of direct taxes before the government brought him into the commission that aside Anyway, coming to the poll dates, the west to east rollout of the polling wheel followed a pattern. So, it was the same in 2014 Lok Sabha election, 2019 Lok Sabha election and also in 2017 assembly polls. This pattern suited the BJP in the past because, you know, after Bujafar Nagar rights in 2013, Jats in uh, western UP, uh, you know, had swung towards the BJP giving it a kind of springboard uh, in early phases of the elections and that's how everybody was expecting that you know this time also but you know this 2022 election is a bit different so as we have seen like from west to east it suited the bjp but in 2022 situation is a bit different given its backdrop you know simmering anger among farmers over sugarcane prices its arrears and power bills was tapped by leaders like Rakesh Tikka to mobilize them against the three contentious uh, union farm laws. The Modi government has caused those uh, laws, but there are no indications yet that the farmers, I mean, who are predominantly from the Jat community, have returned to the BJP uh, finally. Well, let me put a caveat here. My friends and colleagues from Western UP tell me that, you know, their anger will subside by the time they reach the polling booths. They will vote again as Hindus. As a BJP leader from UP put it to me, be that as it may, the fact is, even if they vote as Hindus, some of them may go to Jain Chaudhary's RLD. You know, after the 2013 Mujafanagar riots, the RLD had lost its hold in Western UP due to the rift between Jats and Muslims. Thanks to farmers' agitation, that some of the that hostility between the two communities may be over, but one can't say a final word on this yet. Western UP is important for the BJP. There are 136 assembly seats across 26 districts in Braj and Rohil Khan regions. The election commission has scheduled elections in the areas. In the first three of the seven phases, as I said, the farmer's agitation was resonating in a large part of this region. And therefore, the section of the BJP leaders in UP wanted to start their electoral journey from the east. It's another matter that the central leadership did not necessarily agree with them. 
on saturday adityanath yogi adityanath the chief minister gave an inkling of why the west to east uh, roll out suited the bjp agenda he said up elections will be 80% versus 20% pm and pm modi and amit shah has also been you know directly and indirectly referring to 2013 with the fernagar riots they have been talking about exodus of hindus in kerala not very directly but in, in uh, indirectly in their speeches such political rhetoric is only likely to get sharper and louder in coming weeks given uh, western up's demog- demographic profile muslims constitute a quarter of the population in this is something around 25 26% in some areas in fact say uh, in rohilkhand say in rampur or moradabad muslims constitute about uh, half of the population then you are expecting some firebrand muslim leaders like asaduddin owaisi to kind of come in and start making those fiery speeches provocative speeches in fact and the bjp must be looking forward to it you know so in the overall narrative west to east rolling of the elections suits the bjp in so far as its hindutva agenda is concerned it's no more about yogi aitinath's development agenda it's not even about social engineering which amit shah so assiduously did from 2014 it's about setting the hindu muslim pole narrative from the west and taking it to the other regions towards the east yogi might have started with anti romeo squad and closure of slaughter houses but he was soon seeking a, to model himself as modi projecting himself as a vikas purus as also an hindutva icon he would like his administration to be defined by infrastructure uh, developments you have heard of many uh, highways agra lucknow expressway purvanchal expressway bundelkhan expressway then you have gorakhpur link then you have ganga expressway apart from his you know uh, tough action against criminals and welfare measures that he, his government has been taking he often talks about it and in the print uh, you know my colleague mosmi das gupta has been reporting about these in infrastructure developments in uh, up look at his uh, government's uh, people advertisements also you know it's all about the achievements on the development front but now that you focus so much of hindutva the fear is that if you put so much emphasis on the hindutva agenda you may lose those who may think of voting for you for your development works and even yogi adityanath's critics would agree that he may be projecting himself as a hindutva mascot but his government has also done a good job in terms of development especially in the infrastructure sector i have i have just spoken about many expressways the flip side of this over emphasis on hindutva or 80% versus 20% strategy is that it may end up undermining yogi if modi is the face of the up polls you know the prime minister has addressed about 14 rallies from mid november uh, till now till the uh, election commission put a hold on all these rallies he has been the face so if modi is the face and this polarizing politics the predominant poll strategy I mean, what to differentiate yogi adityanath from any other bjp cm he becomes just another bjp cm in just another state I mean, the up election was once uh, centered on yogi adityanath his persona his development agenda it's now fast becoming an election for modi and another opportunity for amit shah to burnish his credentials as the brain behind the bjp electoral victories Amit Shah may again end up uh, becoming the man of the match in 2022 because if he is driving the poll narrative and if Modi is the face you know the central theme of this election becomes Moditwa and not Yogitwa in fact uh, that's I, I have I have coined this word in fact Yogitwa means you know the way he, Yogi has been trying to model himself on Modi so if Moditwa is about you know lots of development with the Hindutva being the uh, underlying principle Yogi is trying to model himself accordingly but the way uh, the BJP is planning this election especially how it is planning to kind of you know uh, formulate its narrative from the west to east i think this entire uh, messaging about yogitwa will get blurred for now though i think yogi does not have many options he will have to play along this is all from me uh, in this episode of politically correct thanks for watching